Lemon Tree. Today I'm going to show you how I use four sticks to help me load the wart on my loo. Two short ones and the two longer ones. I've tied the beater here so that it won't fall through the loom when I take off the top. Okay. Now also take away the reed. One long stick goes from the front to the back of the loom resting on the beads. And the other long stick front to the back of the loom resting on the beads. Just secure your sticks in place by putting a bit of cord over, under and tying over like so and just do it on each corner of the loom. Sitting at the back of the loom I double the thread and hook it on like that. I do that on each side. Then I take one of the threads. I find it easier to just do it with a needle but you can do it by hand. I take my stick, I go up and up and on the other thread I send it down through the hole and down through the hole. Twist it once and tie it to the back beam. I repeat on the other side. Then my leash sticks are in place. Now you can bring your warp over the back beam and rest it up over the short sticks. It's easy to see them for threading the heddles and the reed. And also, it's much easier than taking it all the way up here. You feel more in control. And that's how I thread all my ready-made warps. I hope that helps you. So using the sticks in place as they were for the ready-made warp, I'm now going to put on my own warp and I'll show you how I do it. This warp is inspired for the clematis that's outside my studio just now. It's rather beautiful at this time of year. Going on the loom from the back to the front. And so I'm going to select the end of the warp here and here and put it on this stick. Okay, so just take that bit off, put it through there, make sure you've got all the threads. And then that back in place. This is the cross in the warp threads. What we need to do is thread the short sticks through the cross. Just take that bit off. Let me show you. So the first short stick goes there. And the second one goes above the cross. There, make sure you've got all your threads, and there. Now you can see that the cross is in the middle of the two short sticks. Now we thread them back on like we did previously. Up, up. Now you can undo all your ties that are holding the cross in place because the sticks will now do the work for you. Let's take a closer look. So I'm now ready to wind the warp onto the back beam. I do use a raddle to spread out the threads but not necessarily on such a narrow warp but it does make it a little bit smoother. I also find if I take away the Sticks that go from front to back now. 
easily just slide out of the way. Gives me a little bit more space to roll down to the back beam. So here we are. The warp is now on the loom. I'm ready to thread the heddles. I can choose each warp end easily in order to go through the heddles by using the sticks. Once the heddles are threaded, I'm going to put the reed back on and uh, slay that, tie everything off, and I'll be ready to start weaving with all these lovely colours. I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you for joining me at Woollen Tree today. See you again soon. Bye.